All right, so I got to go track this thing down because that was the freaking coolest Selene I think I've seen. Oh my gosh. That red one, nuts. I don't know where that dude's going, but I got to find him. I love this car. This. Woo. Good night. Just won my favorite car award. God, this thing is awesome. I gotta know all about it. Yes, please do. It's just so gorgeous. This car just stole my heart. Oh my gosh, I'm Lance. My name is Gary Patterson. Gary? Yeah, thank you. Gosh, Gary. Yeah. When you sell this car, if you don't call me, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I, I <don't laughs> and I'm younger I'm than you, so it's gonna be a while and I can wait. <laughs> gosh. Well, it's, it's been around quite a while. Well, I have not seen it. Oh, really? No. Well. I don't know how I missed it, but I missed it. You got, it. you got a YouTube channel, I guess, right? Yeah, maybe you can put it on there and people can see it. Oh, but, but definitely. <laughs> it, uh, I built it back in the late 80s and 90s, so it's been set for 25 years. Really. So it's kind of like uh, 1990s time capsule. But that is the thing right now. I know it. I know. I'm it right has into so it. come back in, and you're like, it's prime. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, so tell me about it. I mean, if you don't mind, I know I just caught you, but like, it's, it's so cool. Especially for like a Celine guy, like, I have the SSC barn find over there, but like, I would totally trade you straight up for this. <laughs> straight, straight up, bro. I don't even know if it's real, I and mean, straight up, I'll trade it. Yeah, well, it's kind of real. I'll tell you the story here. So this, this it's called Red Heat. You remember that movie back in the 90s, Red Heat, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger? I do. <laughs> so it's on the back. It's on the back of the tail light or uh, on the wing. Uh, I'll just kind of walk through this. Yeah, corner. please do. Uh, so this is, you know, like I say, I started in the 80s. I wanted a Celine, but I couldn't afford it. more familiar these rims you changed i did i really like those wheels yeah it's had three different sets of wheels so this is really the second one i built <laughs> so i learned how to build it on the first one I, I built this like 88 89 i was taking it to the show for the first time yeah that's what happened to it. <laughs> oh my gosh but that uh, roll cage in there uh that saved my neck i i remember i i hit in that this car i hit the guardrail right in the side, he was on his side, hit the guardrail. Oh. Flipped up over in a, on a bridge and came back down. And I remember thinking, boy, this is gonna hurt. 
when it hits. That's so bad. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, but anyway, so so this this is that car. That's it. Six hundred dollars starting point. Yeah. I love it. And uh, you remember this two hundred mile an hour car? Uh huh. The Celine car. Of course. Car. So those were kind of my, my models. I guess. So yeah. here we are building in the garage with the okay. So that's basically it. It's an eighty shell, uh, eight five eighty six front end, eight five eighty six rear. The back end is basically eighty seven. Celine ground effects. I. I in this picture, it had the Celine ground effects on it, but I made that diffuser and redid the front to drop it down. I want that, like, oh my gosh, we'll, we'll talk off camera. In a minute. <laughs> that's, that's, the diffuser is crazy. Yeah, that's, that's my design. It is un unbelievable. <laughs> uh, of course, you can look the inside here, but it's a mix. It's got 85, 80, 87, 83 stuff. Now, there's a vintage 90 uh, car stereo. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the way they had the Holly Project back in the 90s. Yeah. I got a sniper. There's all specs. That's the guy that did machine work. I built the engine. There's the first show with one. Right there. I was happy. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> first to show. Then I took it to 1991, took it to Cypress Gardens. That's Bill Elliott. Wow. He picked the best to show for Bill Elliott. So cool. Yeah, there we are. That was that was a cool show. Oh my gosh. And uh, here we are. And then this is the first magazine shot. Donald Farr and Tom Shaw, they, they saw it, took some pictures of it. There we are taking shots of it. It's there's I'm seeing some magazine photos that are making me come back. Yeah, but you you've remember. done a couple of things now. <laughs> it's a little different. That rear yeah. diffuser. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I saw it over there in the corner. I was like, I gotta run and find this guy. I don't know where he's going, but it's too far from me. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, That's it's Jerry, gorgeous. Jerry Pitt, you know him from Hot Rod, Mark Rand, and all that stuff. And this Steve is, this, giving it a little sign. Yeah, so we were at a show. He checked it out and he gave me approval. It's an unofficial Celine copy, I guess, but anyway, sign and dash. And we're good. Very cool. Uh, and that was him a long time ago. Yeah, that was 93. Yeah. 93. And then it was, this is most of my thing. Fast forward. That was the center spread on there. There we are taking a picture in the Steve Canan shop. And I had it in uh, Carcraft, Real Street Eliminator. And Mark Stilo, you know him, the Camaro guy? Well, anyway, we were neck and neck. I, I beat, you know, he's a big autocross guy, road racer. I, I beat him in the road racing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But the only reason I didn't win is uh, because it overheated. Uh, it was like 105 degrees that day in St. Louis, so it didn't. Where are you from? I'm from Kentucky, Greensburg, Central Kentucky. Okay, nice. So here's the three covers that it was on. Right here's Car Crab, Muscle Mustangs, and then right there is uh, that was the very first 5.0 Mustang issue. That when Jerry that was bit. the first 5.0 Mustang issue. Yeah, and it's right there. And you made the cover. Yeah, that's claim to fame. Yeah. So I'm sitting here looking at it, and your French antenna. Yeah. I just bought the first Dugan racing car. Oh, okay. Tom's first build, and he French the antenna like that on the front. Yeah. On the Capri side. Okay. On the fender. Okay. And and that's the only other one I've ever seen. That's so cool. I need to look at it closer because his is it's not totally finished yet. I'm like. Yeah. It yeah. looks identical, but that's cool. Yeah. Shaved the door handle. So we put. He some... shaved the door handles too. Yeah. But he left the locks. It's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, nobody can get into it. So this yeah. is some stuff I did to it. All the, all the diffusers and the splitters and everything. I did that in the last few years here. So the rear diffuser is that carbon fiber or fiberglass? No, it's. Uh, what is it? It's the same material they use for um, NASCAR splitters on the front. See, carbon fiber, you know, it's real brittle. Yeah. Okay, so this, this material, uh, it's made by Miller, Millipron, and uh, it's really. Just like carbon fiber, except it's kind of plastic-like, so it wears instead of breaks. Okay. You, you can see right here, see where I'm drugging right there, see? Oh, see, yeah. See, now, if that was carbon fiber, it'd be shattered. So is the black part a little lower than your red? No, it's the same. Same? Okay. Same I didn't know red. if you were like, oh, let me hit the black and not the red. <laughs> no, it's just, uh, I, I built this 
I built this design probably back in the 90s, I guess. But I never, I love never it. had it on this car. I love it. It looks so good. Yeah, I'll put that splitter on. This is what I call a tank tunnel cover. Yeah. So, you know, it goes underneath there and covers everything up, cleans up the back end of it. And this, I, I, I made fiberglass parts back in the 90s. And uh, Sandra Performance, I don't know if you ever heard of that. <laughs> no, but I think it's super cool. But anyway, that that's really like an SN95 kind of bumper, and then I grabbed it and made it fit a Fox body there. Or it's the same material. Same material. This splitter, I had it at Ponies in the Smokies, and I hit a curb, and I knocked the whole thing off of it. <laughs> and, uh, Which this, year? This year. <laughs> I was there. I didn't see this car. How did I miss it? I don't know. It was I didn't go everything outside, and so. It was outside. I tried to get it inside, but, you know, it didn't work out. So I thought I'd get a center spot, maybe people could see it this time. I'm so glad you did. So this is this is your stripe package that you created the red heat, you know, these stripes. Oh yeah. And that's really cool. It's very period correct 90s in a cool way. Like I like it. Is it is it decals or airbrush? It's or airbrush. both. Airbrush? Okay. I had a the guy did the stripe and did the lettering on it. I don't know. But I did all the stripe and airbrush. You airbrush it yourself? Yeah. I I did everything myself except machine work on the engine and uh, upholstery, everything else I did. Oh my <laughs> gosh, man. That is amazing. It's so nice. It's fair turn right though. Yeah, that's right. We don't want to kill the battery. So, got, it's basically, see, this, it basically looks like this picture. I mean, this is a really cool old school setup. I like it a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cutting edge back in the It, it was, yeah. Back in the 90s. So, see, it still basically looks the same. That had the Holly projection on it yep. at that time. Um, and now I've got a sniper on it. This, this never did work real well, but mm -hmm. that works really well there. Yeah, the sniper is a good system. Yeah, and I, and I put the, the different, I got a 14 volt battery. I always had trouble with the locks, the shaved doors. I wouldn't do that again, you know, popping all the time, so I put a 14 volt on it. But when I did that, uh, I smoked all the electronics on it. So. I was about to say, yeah, swapping <laughs> over. I had a car with a 16 volt system. Man, it really is. It changes a lot of stuff. Yeah, so that's the main reason I put sniper on it. I had MSD system and all that, and just smoked on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Anyway, it, but it's got, you know, it's everything that was on a Celine, you know, at that point in time. Ford Motorsports, and then the wheels. So custom splitter. Yeah. On the front, custom side, and then you also have this little piece here too. Yeah, yeah, the little wicker. Yeah. yeah I'm, like I'm you never in. see that, and it's really neat. I it's, like that. I'm in the aerodynamics. Model. Yeah. So we've got one on the front too. You know, like the new cars, when the air hits this and hits that, and then it goes off to the side. Yeah. You know? the side exhaust i'm yeah. a side exhaust fan Speed and you thing. never see many that work really well and it's perfect yeah yeah it works well with that splitter and everything yeah and of course it it's set slow yeah it's pretty low yeah man bear brakes on it and you told me but which year is it the, the basic shell is an 80 okay it's an 80 gotcha it's got the svo sale panels yeah but then we built it and what are your wheels those are Budnick wheels. I had those made. Okay. Uh, these, are, these are 11s in the back, nine and a half in the front. And, uh, 11 inch wide in the rear. Yeah, yeah, these are 315 tires. They're pretty meaty back there. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> Get 
nuts. So we had to rework the wheel wells. You know, they're sitting mm -hmm. back in there. Yeah. Yeah. So they're buttoning. Needless to say, it's had some customization. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's really, really good looking, and I think people that are watching this video. They're going to want to know a couple other things. Okay. Um, one is, how'd you come up with the idea to do this? Like, where did that come from? Well, there, there was a... Like, what inspired you to do this Well, I, this type of build back in the day? Okay, so... so I, I know you mentioned the Celine stuff, but... Well, I, I graduated from school. You know, I worked 24-7, you know, getting through school and so forth. And, and then I wanted a Mustang, so I bought a 79 Cobra. Mustang. Okay. Okay, so that was my first down there. All right. And then, uh, like in, I think it was 86, maybe there's an article in Hot Rod or Car Crap about Steve Celine. Who's yeah. this guy, Steve Celine? And it's like, I want one of those. Uh, well, I couldn't uh, afford it. Yeah. So uh, basically, I started, you know, thinking about, you know, how I could make one. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a do it yourself guy, so I figured I, I believe I can make something pretty cool like that. So, like, Celine, I, I was basically his first customer. I've got invoices of two and ten. Oh, my gosh. You know, where I bought all this stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah, some of his first kits and things that he sold, oh, yeah, not just yeah. cars. He, when, when he went Celine performance parts, that yeah. was like 88. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. The first wheels I had on him were Celine wheels. Which great. ones? Yeah. Baskets or OARE five spokes? Yeah. yeah. So, had that, and then... Uh, when I put it in, well, anyway, as far as uh, inspiration, that was it, really, an article. I started looking at everything that was hot at the time, you know, like Duke's race, and yeah. Celine, and Speeda, and all those yeah. guys. So I was picking and choosing what I wanted, you know, what I wanted. All like, right. Like that I say, is I so, I mean, what a cool story. Like, the Celine first order stuff, too, that is, yeah. that's neat. Yeah, at home, I've got a file camera. This long. <laughs> Everything's documented. I got all That is really cool. What a story, man. Thank you so much. So, congratulations. Thank you for bringing it seriously. It made my day. Very good. Thank very you very good. much. Thank Appreciate you, it.